What's up guys, Learning with Rich here in this video. So let's add grids to our project. So from the architectural tab, so let's go to our datum panel. So you can see there your grid. So the shortcut is GR. Okay, so let's select grid. And then just like your level last time, if you're going to take a look at the options here on our contextual tab, so on, on our contextual draw panel you can see we have several ways of creating our grids okay so you can use the line tool you can use the arc tool you can also select center ends arc and then the other one is the pick lines which is what we are going to use because the grids here from our link CAD drawing is already set up so we just need to somehow trace these grids for us to be able to create our project grid okay so to do that so we'll be using pick lines so let's click that and then after that i'm going to select one let's pick this one to create our first grid so click there you go and then let's click another one here and then let's click this one here so what I'm going to do is I'm going to select modify to terminate my grid and let's check out the numbering here. Okay, so the numbering here is so that you will not get confused. I'm going to click my grid, one of the grid, and then you see that circle there. I'm going to hold my left click on that and then drag it below so I can see separately my own grids, which is this, and then the link grid. Okay, so as you can see on our link uh, grids here, so it should be 1.1. So I need to change this. So I'm just going to click that and then change that to 1.1 and then enter. And then this one should be 2. All right? Enter. Okay, and another thing is that I'm going to click again the grid here I'm going to move it up as you can see my grid here it doesn't have a bubble at the end so what you can do is you can click the grid and then you see that square there so you can click that to show the bubble click and you now have the bubble there click that there you go Okay, and then after that, let's proceed on creating our grids. So let's go back again to our grid tool. You can type GR for the shortcut and then use the pick lines again. And then let's click now our grids here. So if you have several types of grid, you can click the drop down arrow and drop down arrow here. And then you can select the other type of grids here. But in my case, I'll just use the default one. Okay, so let's uh, let us now create my grid three, four, five, six, and then select modify to terminate, and then let's click again the grid here. Let's move it up and align with the other grids there. Okay, so let's select that. Let's show the bubble. Okay, and then let's check out below here. So it's four, five, six. This one should be three. Let's click this, move it down, something like that. And then let's click this, drag all the way here. There you go. And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to click this grid here. Okay. And by default, you can see here there's a lock tool or lock symbol. That's the reason why when you drag this, you will notice the other grids are following because of that lock icon. And another thing is, if you're going to click the grid, you can see that icon there. It says add elbow. Sometimes, some of the grids are too close to each other. So that's why you can create an elbow. You can click that to create the elbow. Okay, so that you can move away or move closer your 
uh, bubble head to the other grids. Okay, so that's how you do that. So you can also return it back to make it straight. Okay, so that's how you create your grid now. Um, I have here several grids for the 7, 8, 9, 10 that I haven't created yet. So that's why. So let's create that again. So grid, uh, pick lines. Then let's click uh, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. Then modify. Let's drag that to align. Just tidy up. Show the bubble. Show the bubble there. Then let's drag that above. Okay. Right. So that's for our vertical grids here. Now let's create also the horizontal grids. So same procedure. So let's select the grid here, peak lines tool. So let's click the first grid here, that one. So it becomes 11. So I'm gonna terminate my grid tool and then change it first to letter A so that the naming of my grids will gonna be correct. So the other grids will gonna be following that uh, naming. So let's create again the grids, peak lines, all right, so this should be B, C, D, E, F. Okay, so click this. Terminate again the grid. Let's change this to F1. Right. Okay, and then for this one, let's continue again. Let's select the grid, pick lines tool. Let's click uh, G, modify, to terminate, change that to G, click outside, and then let's create another grid here. Pick lines option, so it should be H, I, J then modify okay so let's tidy up our grid so let's click the grid so let's move it here let's click the other grids here and this one here then this one here okay now, um, instead of clicking all your grids or clicking the grids one by one and then ticking the box here to show the bubble, so what you can do is to, you can modify the bubble, okay? You can modify the bubble. You can click the bubble here or the level, sorry, and then you can modify the grid here. You can select edit type and then to modify your one fourth inch bubble, so here there's an option plan view symbols and one so just tick that one so that both is showing and then i'm going to select your okay there you go right and then after that the next thing that we are going to do is let us hide now the grids if we can hide the grid of our uh, link model so what I'm gonna do is I'm going to open this window that is called visibility graphics override so you click that one or you can also type VV okay VV is Victor Victor okay you can type that's the shortcut of visibility graphic overrides so your visibility graphic overrides only affect your current view so any changes that you made here on this window it only affects your current view so you have several tabs here so you have model categories which shows here the 3d model and then you have the annotation categories the 2d the annotation the tags the section and then you also have the analytical model categories and then we also have the imported categories, which we can find here our link model. 
the architect the CAD drawing this one and then you also have the filters tab here okay if you have a link Revit model here you will be able to see another tab which is Revit links and if you are using workset you will also see another tab here that is called workset but currently we don't have that uh, two uh, options there right now we don't have the work set and then the link because we don't have that okay so now here on the imported categories what I'm gonna do is I want to make my uh, link model half tone color I don't want this because it's too dark right so I don't want to highlight my my background here because I only use this CAD drawing as a background so I don't want that to be dark or it's like highlighted so I'm going to uh, make that half tone color that one okay and then I'll select here modify uh, I'll just select here okay and then there you go so it's now somewhat half tone color and then in order for you to check out what is the layer what let's say for example you want to know the layer of your AutoCAD grids here so to do that you need to select your link model you click the link model and then from the import instance panel you can see their query you click that query and then you can now click the AutoCAD level or the AutoCAD bubble here so you can click that so as you can see the layer name is S grid so you now have an idea by the way here on the import instance query you can delete that or you can also hide that in view so you can click hide in view and as you can see all the uh, CAD grids are now hidden in this view okay and then let's select here modify to deselect the object and there you go so let us now click one of the grids here and then move it down again so that it's not too high there you go let's tidy up our drawing here our model and that's it so that's how you create your grids okay so thank you for watching have a nice day